Hi there. Before we actually get into this, I just need to quickly say this medical disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice and I take no responsibility for your medical well-being. I'm only passing on information and giving my opinion. If you are unwell, please seek qualified medical advice. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So I recently made a video about vitamin D in which I recommended a particular vitamin D supplement. However, I've just been reading this article, Is Vitamin D Harmful Without Vitamin K? It says that vitamin D and K work as a team. The role of vitamin D is to maintain the calcium levels in the blood, and it does this by either enhancing the absorption of calcium from the food you eat, or, when there's not enough, it draws calcium out from your bones. If your intake of calcium is too low, your body has no choice but to get it from your bones, even though this can cause bone loss and osteoporosis over time. So, what vitamin K does is to control where the calcium actually ends up. It does this by promoting the accumulation of calcium in your bones and teeth, and by preventing calcium from accumulating in soft tissues, such as your blood vessels and kidneys. So, is vitamin D harmful without vitamin K? Well, there is a concern that if you have a lot of vitamin D without enough vitamin K, this may put you at risk of blood vessel calcification and heart disease. Put simply, vitamin D toxicity may cause blood vessel calcification while vitamin K may help prevent this from happening. There are several forms of vitamin K. There is K1 and K2, but also K2 comes in various forms including MK4 and MK7. According to this other article, vitamin K2 is better than K1. Vitamin K2 is strongly associated with a lower risk of heart disease, whereas vitamin K1 is not. K2 plays an essential role in bone metabolism and so might help prevent osteoporosis and fractures. K2 could also be good for dental health, and it seems to also be beneficial in regard to liver and prostate cancers. So, if you do want to supplement vitamin D, it is better to take vitamin K at the same time, such as with this particular supplement, which contains 3,000 international units of vitamin D3, along with 115 micrograms of the MK7 form of vitamin K2. And you can easily find that supplement by clicking the link in the description. If you do buy through my link, I will receive a small commission at no extra cost to you, which will help me to continue making these videos. Anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, I wish you the very best of health.